Hi, we've got a worked example here um, in the forces section. This is about systems of a uh, system of particles. Um, and in this case, basically, we've got two particles and one is a lorry and one is a car. Um, let's just have a look at this figure four shows a lorry of mass 1600 kilograms towing a car of mass 900 kilograms along a straight, straight horizontal road. Two vehicles joined by a light tow bar at an angle of 15 degrees. Uh, the lorry and the car experience a constant, a constant resistance to motion of magnitude 600 and 300 newtons. And the lorry's engine produces a constant horizontal force on the lorry of magnitude 1500 newtons. Find, first of all, the acceleration of the lorry and the car. So first things first, uh, let's do our forces diagram. Here we go. Um, and as I um, always say, with these situations, don't be tempted to draw on here. Draw your own nice, larger, probably simplified uh, diagram uh, that shows all the forces and, and masses and accelerations uh, uh, clearly. Um, so, uh, so we've got 1,600, uh, 1600 here. Um, there's a forward force of 1500, that's what it tells us there, 1500 newtons, and each of them uh, experience resistances of, uh, well, 600 and 300, respectively. Uh, so, um, yeah, this one, it, it takes friction out of it, really. It just it, it, this, this force could be, it, it, it could be, it's probably friction that it could include wind wind resistance and so on so um but we don't need to know that it's just a resistance to motion and we've also got this connecting rod here um, and this will of course it's it's pulling the car forward but it's also resist a restraining force if you like the weight of the car and the mass of the car is is a is a is a, con uh, is a constraint here so that's actually um as with tensions um then they act in the in opposite directions at the same time and if it's a light uh usually string or rope isn't it in this case it's a light tow bar and it's in inextensible then we'll find that the force is the, the both you know the force is the same in both directions Right, so we've drawn that, so that's uh, that's good. Now, I think one thing to say about the, these problems that involve systems of particles is that um, yeah, the, the, the key thing is that they, both of these particles, because they're connected, they share the same acceleration. So the typical form of these problems, not always like this, but typically, is that what we do is we look at the, the entire system, you know, the, all the forces and the mass and the masses in order to uh, to connect the force, mass, acceleration, typically, as I say, to actually calculate the acceleration. And then um, the second part of these questions very often asks us to find some other force, and that force might well be the tension here i mean we might know the tension they might be asking you know what's the what's the, the resistance force but but um but typically typically uh they'll say right what is the tension um and in actual fact we could actually look at either of these but what we need to do is kind of conceptually draw draw a box around let's say in this case the car and we can consider this uh this this tension so when we're looking at the system of particles this is not these these cancel out anyway but we wouldn't in, we wouldn't be interested in internal forces within the system of particles um what we're interested in is is uh is is the the, the external forces uh but say so when when we're actually looking at the car then in a sense this 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 t is does then become an external force so we're going to consider the whole system um, then, uh, and apply Newton's second law of motion equation, F equals MA. Uh, so with the forward forces, 1,500, and we've got 1,600 restraining, minus 600, 600 minus 300. And that's going to equal the total mass of this system, 1,600 plus 900, 
times its acceleration. Uh, so it's a simple little equation in A, that's going to give us an acceleration of 0.24 meters per second, per second, okay? The acceleration of the lorry and the car. And the second part, as predicted, B, the tension in the tow bar. Okay, so we just consider the car now. Uh, we look at the forces on the car, well, what we got. Um, that incidentally, there is no acceleration in the vertical direction. This is it's all in the horizontal direction. So uh, in the horizontal direction, this force here um, from, from the crowbar, crowbar uh, the tow bar is uh, T cos 15, because we're resolving that through an angle of 15, minus this 300. And that's going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration, which we've already calculated. So that gives us an equation in T. So we plug A in there, add 300 to each side, and I threw by cos 15, and that's going to give us an answer of 534.2 newtons. So, um, so that's that. So that's a very typical kind of system of particles uh, problem. Um, this one goes on a bit further, to wind down a bit. When the speed of the vehicles is six meters per second, the tow bar breaks, assuming that the resistance of the, to the motion of the car remains, uh, remains of constant magnitude, 300 newtons. First of all, find the distance moved by the car from the moment the tow bar breaks into the moment when the car comes to rest. So we've got a little bit of kinematics coming into this one as well. It's very uh, it's difficult to actually split up the forces from the kinematics. Um, and again, typically with these things, then um, what's actually of interest, we've got a different forces situation. Um, so if we know the forces and we obviously know the mass, then we can calculate the acceleration, which will be a deceleration, of course, because um, basically the car has lost its tow truck, so it's just going to grind to a to a halt. Anyway, that's what we've got here. Acceleration equals F, o, F over M, so that's F equals M, A restated. Um, the force is this minus 300, the restraining force. That's the mass. So therefore, it's... Uh, deceleration is going to be one one third. So acceleration is minus one third. Um, right. So what? So right. A bit of kinematics. We go back to our kinematics principles. Let's write down what we know and what we want to know. So v is naught. That's the final velocity. It's come to a halt. U is six. Yeah, we're told that in the question, aren't we? Um, the acceleration is minus a third, and the Distance, uh, which is also the displacement, is, uh, is what we want to know. So, uh, yeah, V, U, A, and S, this is going to lead us to use V squared equals U squared plus 2 A, S. Um, so, yeah, so we, we can uh, substitute in what we know there, V, U, and A, and uh, we've got a, an equation in S. So we'll rearrange that, and we're going to get uh, S is... 54 meters. So that is the distance moved by the car from when the tow bar breaks. State weather when the tow bar breaks, the normal reaction of the road on the car is increased, decreased, or remains constant. The normal reaction of the road on the car, so the amount the road is pushing up to the car. Right, okay, well, it's, go it's going to increase now because it now... Um, equals the weight of the vehicle because this is the, the, we, we, we've removed the, the tow bar. Um, so previously the, the reaction would have been a bit less because because some of that upward force was taken by the tow bar. And the tow bar's gone, so all the upward force must be provided by the road. So the amount of upward reaction equals the amount of downward weight um, in order to, you know, to, to give us a situation where there is no vertical uh, acceleration. So, uh, yeah, so in that case, it would increase, okay? Perhaps imagine a car going along, it's being towed, it's probably up a little bit on its springs and it's just being towed, the tow bar's taken away, and it probably sinks down a little bit. 
So you know, that's the sort of image you might have in your mind. Right. OK, so uh, that's taken you through that uh, problem, system of particles. Um, very important and a pretty decent chance you'll get a, pro a problem not too dissimilar to that. So that's worth understanding. Uh, hope it's been useful and uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>